Welcome back to Southern Manufacturing 2025. We're here on the Hexagon stand with Jason Walker. Jason, um, you've got loads of inspection equipment inside that stand to show us, but look at your, your, your logo, your, your slogan, first of all, design, make and inspect this year. That's right. Um, I know you've been supporting the UK manufacturing for a long time. Yeah. Let's go through it. How are you helping UK manufacturing design, make and inspect? Let's go. Perfect. Let's, have a look Let's at the dive in. Yeah. So, um, so with uh, with Hexagon's portfolio, as many of our customers will know, it's not just inspection or metrology. Of course, we are very well known for that part of the portfolio, but we try to help our customers with the broad capabilities that we have across their entire value chain. So we talked about design. So it's taking the design of a part, preparing it for the manufacturing process, or even before that, simulating, especially when it's a more complex part with thinner walls that may be subject to deformation, you know, simulating the, the characteristics of that material, and then preparing it for the manufacturing process. Absolutely, in that design stage, there's so many feedback loops you can do now with proper simulation software. Exactly, um, yeah. And you wanna make sure that you 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 bring your design design geometry into your simulation software as easy as possible. Yeah. You can do that if you get your software from one company. Yes, you can. And, you know, ultimately, more and more manufacturers are looking at how they can take their, you know, more of these services in-house to manage the design in-house as well as take it through the various downstream processes that they have to manage to get a product made and obviously inspect that product. So all the way from our large OEM customers who may be more inclined to simulate and simulate the end product that they're trying to create as well as the different components that go into it, down to our supply chain manufacturers who are obviously more focus on taking the design from their customer, the OEM, and manufacturing and ensuring that you know the quality of those parts, those components that um, they're manufacturing is correct. Absolutely. If you imagine this was made by a, one of those subcontractors, for example, yeah. there's a serious amount of hexagon uh, software used by those in, a, in like a suite. It's called the production suite. Yeah. Um, for example, what would customers use from hexagon to produce this part in a, in a subcontractor? Yeah, so what we're showcasing uh, today and at the show is our newly launched uh, production software suites. And the concept of the suite is it's a number, it's a combination or a bundle of software solutions that work together and ultimately, you know, are a cohesive set of capabilities that allow our customer to take the design, prepare it for manufacturing, um, you know, create the G-code for the CNC machines, um, get an optimized code by using something like our NC Simul solution to simulate how that machine is gonna cut it. Um, and then obviously look at the collecting some of the production uh, analytics of those machines even while it's being produced, right? So in our production uh, machining suite, which we just highlighted there, you've got our designer products for you know, CAD for manufacturing. You've got CAM solutions like EdgeCAM or even a Spree. And then we've got the NC Simul product that I mentioned for simulation and optimization of that G code for on the CNC machine. Okay, brilliant. We've done design, we've done make, which is the product we produced here. Um, inspect, you've got so much equipment to show us. Um, let's start with this thing maybe. Um, so what are you showing here? Uh, for, for, for brand new inspection, it's a brand new inspection product. This is, so this is our newly launched handheld Marvel scan solution, which really provides our customers an entry level scanning solution and the freedom to go and measure anywhere. So go and scan anything anywhere. You can see it's truly portable solution, very much easily handheld and you know multiple capabilities with multi-camera support as well as different scanning capabilities as you can see that the cross hatch of those lasers taking in all the point cloud data from the component that's being scanned and easily uh, identifying it here in the software solution that goes along with it. Yeah, and you can see the cable going down into the into the, the cabinet down here but there's no big fat box this needs to connect to. No big fat to box. To. In fact, um, this can be used uh, as a completely portable solution as well with a battery pack. You don't necessarily have to have the cable plugged in all the time. Okay, so all it needs to do is connect to your computer yep. and also be powered. That's it. Simple as that. Yeah. Brilliant. The Marvel Scan, you've also got, you've got two models and this is brand new. And Steve is very kindly demoing this. He's seen a lot of demos recently from customers because it's such a new product. Plenty. A lot of interest on this. And I think, you know, customers are really looking for additional capabilities to be able to go into the field or, you know, down onto their shop floor and scan more, you know, larger parts or just scan easier. Yeah. We've just seen a great photo of someone inside, like a casting, trying to measure the inside of something really awkward to inspect. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be possible with a more traditional scanning system. Yeah. You need this arm and just a cable, plug it into your laptop, stick it outside the casting, climb in there. You can scan some really complex uh, features. 
with a marble scan. Yeah, as I mentioned, in the field, you know, on the shop floor, in very tight to get in places. It's a it's a really game changing piece of technology. Absolutely, really ergonomic too. Steve's been doing it all day. He's not got RSI yet. Yeah. <laughs> I can promise you that. Thank you, Steve. Brilliant. Worked very well demoed. So yeah, what's next? Well, we've got obviously, as you mentioned, a lot of our scanning capabilities here and our measurement capabilities. So many of our customers will be familiar with our Absolute Arm. This is a portable scanning solution and it's paired with our uh, AS1, flagship AS1 scanner. So this is blue light uh, scanning capabilities or um, technologies that obviously we've got patents on. Um, we don't have to worry about the shine of the material that's being scanned. All of that is made much easier for our customers to go and scan any part anywhere. Exactly. And, uh, and what's, the, what's the value in having scanning and a physical touch probe uh, available on the same machine? It just, again, provides that flexibility for our customers to use this piece of equipment on multiple different components and be able to both touch probe scan if they're going in for a very high tolerance um, inspection job or scanning it. Again, we mentioned earlier the freeform capability of taking in the point cloud data on a specific component that you're scanning, as you can see Jamie is showing for us there. Brilliant. So this is for smaller components. Obviously, you work with big, very, very big companies that maybe won't be doing subcontract components like this, but very big parts of assemblies. What's this thing for? That's it, our absolute tracker. Again, many of our customers will be familiar with our tracker series. So for larger volume um, inspection jobs, you can see Neil there holding our T-Probe, which is more for the tactile scanning applications. Again, going in and touching components. The tracker is picking up the location of that T-Probe and he, now he's all the way down there. So, you know, there's again, a lot of freedom of movement when it comes to scanning and measuring applications with, uh, with the tracker series. But then not only is he using the T-Probe, but with a hot swap option, we can switch to, again, the AS1 scanner and go and do blue light laser scanning on specific components, again, using the tracker series, which is gonna pick up the location of the scanner and give you accurate positional information continuously. So that's all about improving the accuracy of your scanning over a really large distance, over a large object. Brilliant. And in terms of being able to swap between uh, tactile probing and scanning. What kind of applications are we seeing this in? Um, it depends on you know the, what the customer is doing. So you know, obviously our customers, if they're doing larger volume applications, you might think of a large sort of sheet metal uh, fabricator making large pylon you know rings or something like that, where maybe they want to scan the ele an element of the outside of the the rolled steel, or maybe they want to take measurements, specific measurements on the inside diameter. Um, and they can climb into the, 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 the rolled steel and take those measurements with that tactile probe or even use a scan on specific elements of maybe the sheet metal on the outside. Definitely. It seems like form measurement is becoming a, a more important thing as well as just the important functional points. You want to make sure the form of, sort of, a, of, a, of, a, of a product is correct, even on cars. Fit and flush is really important too. Brilliant. Okay. Um, and then we've got probably the most, last but not least, probably one of the most traditional um, products we've seen we can see on the hexagon stand again yeah very classic to many of our customers is our traditional cmm portfolio so hexagon's business for you know cmms has been long standing more than many others in the market um but as you can see here traditionally with the cmms you're going in and you're touching them hard right you're doing accurate measurement with tactile probing Right now we're show, showcasing some of our multi-scanning uh, capabilities or multi-sensing capabilities. And again, you've got a laser scanner on there that has embedded camera. We can do visual um, scanning applications on the CMM, CMM as well. And high speed, of course, the way that we can capture all of the, the point cloud data as well as the measurements if we're using a tactile probe, um, really world-class with our Global S series that we're showing here. Brilliant. So you get that mix of accuracy with the touch probe yep. and then the speed of a full measurement. Whereas otherwise, if you had just the touch probe available, you could still scan fast, but you couldn't scan 3D fast. You could scan in a, in a line, in a, in a path. Exactly. Yeah. And as you'll notice, that's the same component that we manufactured or managed the design of right in the beginning of the process. So as I mentioned, managing the full sort of value chain or life cycle of our customers' operations. Brilliant. So that's design, make and inspect here on the Hexagon Standard Southern Manufacturing.